Or you go to past 30 straight. I look for someone who. I sought for a man. I saw for a man. I am looking for somebody from his own Bible. I am looking for somebody. Every time God wants to create a change, either in a family, in a, a street, in a society, or a nation, he always search out for a man. Hallelujah. Every time, please, as I'm saying man, if you're a woman, Understand that I am saying woman at the same time. Because these days, later say, women will say they are, they are just mentioning men. They're just saying, they do say woman. Please, if I say man, if you check my Bible, the only man did it. But that man that is there means both man and woman. Now, the Bible says, according to what Paul already says, that I sought for a man. I am looking for a man, a man with clean heart. I am looking for a man who will stand for me in the gap that is already there. That is a gap. Whenever God wants to save a nation, he looks for a man. Whenever God wants to do a thing or to strike a balance, he looks for a man. Whenever God wants to cause a change in life, he looks for a man. Whenever God wants to cause a deliverance, he looks for a man. Whenever God wants to bring about healing, he looks for a man. Wherever God wants to bring success, he looks for a man. Everything you ever seek of God that you have ever knelt down to seek for is with a man. It's not from God if you come from a man. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. How many of you have never said, Oh God, give me money? And money came down from heaven and descended on your hand. I don't think so. When you say, Oh God, give me money, God will send a man to you. Hallelujah. Amen. So at every time a man is in need of anything, at any time God wants to cause a change, he sends a man. So today, our message says, make me a new man. Make me a new man. Quickly read up. I am looking for someone who could do the the work. The church of God is the need of a man who can do the work. Go ahead. Nigeria is looking for, if Nigeria has become a rotten egg, that Nigeria has become what? A rotten egg. The political system in Peru is Nyangkukutu. So God is looking for somebody who will change it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Go ahead. Who can stand for me? Who can stand for me? Where no other person can stand. I am looking for that person. And defend the land. And defend the land. It's okay. Sit down. And defend the land. Now, let me quickly take you through a little lesson. Whenever God wants to cause a change, I said he does not. He looks for a, a man. My question to you tonight is Will you be the man? Will you be the man? Yes, Are you sure you still want God to make you a new man? Yes, because every time, sir, in 2008, I saw myself during a trance, traveling abroad here and there for program. But it wasn't God coming. So I began to pray. I said, God, you have so much anointed me. You so much choose me here in Nigeria. I want to pray you. I want to travel. I want to begin to go abroad and talk and come back. As I was praying the prayer, it was the first coming. So I kept praying. I said, Father, are you not telling me? Hear what I said. He said to me, Son, I am preparing you for this. Get you to the process. Before you get to where you are going to, you need to go through the process. The process is the place where I train you on how to match up with the blessings. For every blessing, there are new devils. Whenever God raises you to a new level in life, there are new devils that have been assigned to stop you at all costs. This morning, should I say yesterday night? I did a prayer. 
a prayer during our online program. I told everybody, I said, get the group. Then I pressed the group and said, for the next five minutes, we are going to sleep. As you are sweeping, you are going to offer. I am sweeping away my clothes. I'm sweeping away this, I'm sweeping. Those things you don't want to exist in your life again. Give them away. Find the money to them. Now, when we did that, I haven't heard from any of them because I've been busy because of this program. But me, myself, when I slept, I found myself sleeping all kinds of things. Most of the things I saw myself sleeping were scorpions. Big, small, dead, and alive. I saw myself sleeping there. So when I woke up from sleep, I said, wow. What a vision. Packing all kinds of miserable satanic scorpions that has existed in your life without your knowledge. Some are already dead, but some are still alive. If you don't deal with it, those ones that are still alive, they will come after you and kill you. God said to Saul, go to the Amalekites and destroy everything there, including their king. He went there and did the opposite. The same people he saved were the same people that killed him. When God said, do this, and you refuse to do it, that thing will stand up to deal with you. A snake in Genesis, sir, will turn into a python in Revelation. God said, your people. In the book of Genesis and Exodus, we saw a man dropping a snake. In Genesis, we saw a snake walk into the garden, drop off. But in Revelation chapter 12, the Bible talks about a python that came to drive the sun away. So when you refuse to deal with the things that God said deal with, when you can deal with them easily, you might end up watching them deal with you. There are some of you that ordinarily, you, you could have think they couldn't have been where they are. But ordinary night sleep, just before you sleep, pray a little prayer, no. You can watch African magic from now until it begins to magic you. You can do it and until your television will sleep on you. Now you are sleeping, the television is not watching you. I tell people that whenever you watch television on tail, your television is watching you. You show something. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't you understand? Sure. Some young innocent children will have been different, but their parents destroyed them. You are watching a movie that is rated a thing, and your innocent young girl or innocent young boy that is going up is there, and you don't bother. Hey, 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 Alice. Hey, think about what they are doing. Nobody should She's looking at what they are doing. It's okay. There's no problem. I'm not the one who said it, I'm not the one. The Bible is the one saying it. So when the child goes to the school, she gathers her friends, she says, ah, the things I watched yesterday, ah, I like the fact that they were kissing. <laughs> if you see the way for giving me up when they were kissing, they were kissing in television, but it was doing her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Are you following me? Yeah. Or oh, you are waiting for the part of prayer? You want me to just do it to me, and that thing is gone. No, follow it. It's a process. Hallelujah, somebody. It's a process. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. The young boy has read out carefully, and what he has read is what I'm trying to do. If, 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 had dealt with the snake she saw, in Genesis chapter 3, we couldn't have had fight on in Revelation chapter 12. Hallelujah. Well, uh, but she was unable to deal with it. It became an issue. It became an issue. I don't much time, so let me know. Now, in the book of Genesis chapter 12, God was looking for a man. He went to the house of Nakon and said to a man called Abraham, he said, Abraham, leave this place. I am about to bless you, but where you are, 
is my problem. If you cannot leave this place, I will not be able to bless you. The kind of person I'm bringing on your life needs you to leave this place. There are certain places where you may be, you may never be able to get the things you are seeking from, from God. A young lady was in a place, she belongs to my fellowship. She was in a place, every time she conceived, she will have miscarriage. Miscarriage, 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 miscarriage. She came to us, we began to pray. In the course of prayer, the Lord opened. Then we discovered that the owner of the house is a witch. Hallelujah. Amen. We discovered that the owner of the house is a witch. Then I said to her, Hallelujah. Amen. Then I said to her, We are going to pray with you. But this is the best way to escape from this trouble. The prayer we are going to pray with you will deliver you from the hands of that witch. So you are going to take a step away from that house. She said, but our money has not expired. I said, but you stay here until your money expires. You don't understand. Pack your load and your bag and baggages. Leave that place to a new place. And before you pay money, let us come and pray. Because I know that there is a God in heaven that has given us eyes to see. So when we went here, we prayed. We discovered it was clear. We said, Madam, you can stay here. This is safe. Do you know it was not up to two months that the woman passed away? The new baby from the state. She delivered that baby. And from that day to today, she kept her delivery. I was looking for an office where people can come to consult when they have problems. Okay, they can come and meet me. Then I will clean their case so that it will not be probably they will have a days of office that they can come about. Now, while you were looking for the office, I saw one beautiful house. I wanted to go in. My friend that was with me, now the man of God, I said, sir, then you come. I'm looking at this. It's very beautiful. The house is very beautiful. He said, No, no, look at the sign. I said, Oh, that. I don't understand the meaning of that, but I know the house is beautiful. See, it means that the owner is an occult man. You will have said the owner is an occult man. I said, I'm not looking for that man. Hallelujah, somebody. Okay. What of what benefit will he make that every morning I will come and pray? Every night, they will come. And they secrete what I've anointed. I will consecrate the secret. I will consecrate the secret of what I You will run deliverance upon deliverance upon deliverance upon deliverance. If you are not careful, the day you make mistakes, they will take you and destroy. So sometimes understanding the part of life that God wants you to be is very important. So God said to Abraham. I want you to get away from here to a place where I will show you. Until we get here, I will bless you. As soon as Abraham followed God, the blessings he was seeking for came about. Hallelujah, Amen. Amen. Give me your ears. Second time was Exodus chapter 3. In Exodus chapter 3, we saw the man called Moses. The Bible says, while he was coming, he saw a bush that was born. God was looking for the deliverance of the people of Israel. He was looking for a man that he was going to use for the deliverance. He was looking for a man with a new heart. He was looking for a man with an understanding of the pathology of the movement of God. And the Bible says when he saw Moses, he drew him nearer with a sign because he knew that was a man he was looking for. As soon as Moses came, the Bible says that God said to him, take up thy sandal. Take off what? Thy sandal. Whenever God is looking for a man, do not forget. You are not going to move to him just the way you are. There are things you must let go. When we came for this job, I used to be